All right, so philosophy number three is listen to your metabolism, listen to your body instead of trying to fight against it. Too many times I'll have people reach out to me and say, I'm eating super low calories, I'm sleeping terribly, I'm always hungry, but I've lost weight. This is a good example of focusing more on weight loss than quality of life. If your quality of life is dramatically suffering because of your calorie intake, you need to readjust things. One thing you have to understand is you are not going to beat metabolism, you're not gonna beat your body at its own game. You have to work with your body and you have to work with your metabolism and the signals that it sends you if you wanna be successful with long-term weight loss. A great example of this is somebody who's not sleeping very well because their calories are so low. How long do you think that's really gonna last? And do you think you're gonna be able to do that the rest of your life? That's really how you should measure things that you decide to do. While yes, it can be smart to temporarily reduce calories, you have to constantly adjust things to make sure that it is in line with sustainability. So if you're always hungry, but you're losing weight, what happens when you finally give in to that hunger? You're more than likely going to compensate and overeat and gain that weight back. So it's better to go small and steady than it is to try to go really quick at once. So listen to your body, start to interpret those signals, and do what you can to manage those things so that you lose weight over a long period of time and keep it off versus trying to fight against your body to lose weight.